Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. This video is about set number 76832, the XL-15 spaceship. This came out in 2022 and is one of three sets that were in the Disney Pixar Lightyear theme. This had 497 pieces and retailed for $50, which uh, is probably the closest you're going to get to that 10 to 1 ratio of uh, price per part. Uh, it's honestly a fantastic value, if we're being real here, considering you know the price per parts for a lot of other sets they've been doing in the last few years. Um, it comes with multiple figures. Uh, the design is fantastic. The price is fantastic. Um, this, like I said, retailed for $50. If you wanted to get it on the secondary market right now, you can get it incomplete. And by incomplete, I mean you get the ship, no box, uh, the lowest listing had just Buzz and Socks, none of the other two. I don't think it had instructions either, and that was uh, $20. So if you want to get real cheap, you can get it like that. Uh, there were various other listings on Brooklink that were in the 30s, and I didn't see anything on that front page that was more than like $38 for various states of completeness, all the way up to, you know, opened, but everything there. Uh, if you wanted to get a sealed one, they start at $27, so like this is a pretty darn good deal for a pretty darn good set. Like This is fantastic. If you don't have one of these, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Uh, this set came with three minifigures, first of which was Buzz Lightyear with his orange flight suit. He goes for about $2 on Bricklink, and I want to show you some of the details on this. They gave him... A cleft chin, that tiny little dot on there. The back of the head also has printing on it. And then I want to really show you this flight suit. It is really, really nice. This would make the perfect, like, rebel uh, fighter pilot suit. If you wanted to go a different route than just getting one of the official Star Wars ones. It's fantastic. Just amazingly printed part. I, I'm really impressed with that. Let's put him back together. And then up next we have the old lady of the group, Darby Steele. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've heard me gushing about the print of this body. It's a fantastic print. Um, she has this Pretty sure it's like a bazooka. Uh, what's interesting is you do get some uh, decals in this set, and they only have you put one on this. I, I really figured you'd have one on the other side. You know, most people kind of grumble about having to put stickers on, and no, oh, there's too many stickers in this, which is, you know, pretty much the case for a lot of stuff is too many stickers, but in this case, one more couldn't have hurt. Uh, here's the helmet that all of the, like, secondary characters in the movie have. It's pretty interesting. It's a little specific. So I'm sure there's something you can do with this. Um, nothing comes to mind to myself currently. Uh, the uh, Darby Steel figure goes for about $4 on Berlink. The next one, who also goes for $4, is Mo Morrison. He was voiced by Taika Waititi. Same body as Darby. Uh, different armors, uh, different face, but great figure. He's got like a harpoon thing. I, it's been a while since I saw the movie, but I'm pretty sure this is technically a harpoon gun, even though it does kind of look like a flamethrower sort of thing. Also comes with the same helmet. And then not technically a minifigure, but we cannot forget to mention socks. Socks goes for about $1.50. And he's adorable. He's the best character in the movie. Um, let us take a quick little look at the stand here. I think this is a really good function, not function, but feature that they really didn't have to include. It's at an angle. It's pretty simple. Sticks into the bottom of the post. And it comes with a decal on this. There's all the... The details of the ship from in-universe. It's really cool. 
Really simple, nice little stand. And definitely something they didn't have to include. They totally could have just gone with the figures and the ship itself, but that's a very nice touch to have the stand. Uh, here is the ship. We're going to start off with the front. Comes to a nice point there. It's very smooth lines. Very A lot of these little angles here makes it look like it's got a lot of facets on it. Here's the bottom of the front. In the middle of the bottom. There's not a lot here, but they definitely could have done worse. At least you do have all the colors in the same areas. Here's the top. These wings are really nice. Here's the back. I don't know what these engine parts are from. They have these little, little things there that kind of look like they're meant to like slide into something and keep those from coming out. I have no idea what these parts are typically used for. And they are kind of loose because uh, they're just held in there. Um, I really have no complaints. It looks really nice. Um, the other side is the same. It's very symmetric. Oh, very nice. Uh, we're just going to take a look into the cockpit. Got this trans yellow piece. It's very nice. There's quite a bit of space in there. Um, pretty much have to because the like the armor you've got on Buzz takes up kind of a bit of space. As opposed to just a normal character. Put the helmet back on him. Uh, you've got a movable control stick here. Let's get there. It's kind of dark in there, but it's on a ball joint. It moves around. It's kind of cool. The only printed piece in the set is this. This is the Ivan navigation system. It sits right there in the front. You can see the joystick a little better there. Let's get him back in there. Everything else is stickers, which is fine. There's really not that many stickers. I think it's like six, seven, eight in there total. So eight stickers, not too bad. Uh, it does have some play features. You've got this section that opens up and has a little computer. These are adorable. It's got a little, little laptop goes in there on the top. And then in the back here, you've got another little fold-out bit that has the crystallized fuel cell in it. Now, there is actually room for a second one in there, simply because it probably would have been a lot harder to do just a single wide space but you know i mean it moves a little bit but this back panel goes up and it stays in place pretty well so it's not really an issue like i mean it fits in there really well visually it's really nice lines on this um some interesting build techniques like these two parts here i have no clue what these are usually for it almost looks like it'd be like a trailer hitch you'd have something hook on that but it's got this little piece on the inside, I don't know if you'd see that right there. Not sure what those are typically for, um, but it adds a lot of like detail, and nice profile. Um, these engines, that, like the air intake here, they've got a bunch of different angles and everything's all lined up really well. This is a very, very pleasant building experience with this. A lot of cool little angles and stuff. And just in general, it was such a good set to put together. I wish I had more than just one. Um, but that is the XL15. Uh, my closing thoughts on this. If you don't have it, you really should. If you do have it, I hope you enjoyed building it. I know I did. And I'm shocked that this is down to, like, half price. Um, the movie was great. The set's amazing. And I, I just can't say anything more 
in the praises of this design that I haven't already said. So I'll see you guys.